Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm an English teacher and language anxiety coach. And in this video, I'm going to talk about um, a question, a kind of, I guess it's a philosophical question. Um, and it's one that we use to kind of explore our reasons for not doing things. And this question is, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Now, this is a great question to ask ourselves um, because I'm sure that most of us, at least at some point in our lives, have stopped ourselves from doing something we wanted to do because we were afraid we would fail. And failure, you know, it looks different in different situations. So it could be applying for a job or, well, I'm not going to apply for that job because I don't think I'll get it. Or it could be asking someone out on a date. Or I'm not going to ask them out because they're probably going to reject me and say no. Um, but this question does apply to using a second language as well. You know, so we could reframe this question and think of things like, who would you talk to if you knew they would understand you? How would you use English um, if you knew no one would laugh at your English? Because so many of us as language learners, we carry around this kind of deep old negativity about ourselves and our abilities. Now, this negativity that we have about ourselves, it's not level specific. And in fact, in my experience, it tends to be higher level users, so C1 and C2, who actually have the most self-doubt about their language. Um, you know, the, the, the kind of learners at the bottom, if you like, although that's not really a great word to use, but A-level learners you know, they just get on with it a lot of the times because they have very limited language, but they actually really want to use it because they're so proud that they can go and ask, I don't know, go to the bank, you know. So what I've noticed is that as people improve their language, they're kind of, perhaps they're more aware of the gap between them and a native speaker, Perhaps they're more aware of the subtleties that they can't express. But whatever it is, there is definitely a lot of advanced level English speakers who hold themselves back because they're afraid they will fail. And if we go back to the question, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? I'd really encourage you to think about that question and apply it to English and your English use. Now, maybe, maybe you are one of these super confident people who just says, no, I don't care. I'm going to use English all the time and I don't care. And awesome for you if that's the case. That's brilliant. If you're one of these people who's probably like most of us, including me, and is a bit like, mm, I'd really like to do that in English or French or Japanese or Chinese, but I'm really scared that people will laugh at me. I won't succeed. I'll look really stupid. I won't understand. I would encourage yourself to really dig into that and really question, is that a good enough reason for not doing what you want to do? So let's imagine that you might want to, maybe you are living in an English speaking country and you want to go to a networking event, okay? Um, but you feel a bit like, ah, there's going to be so many people there and they're all going to be speaking English and my pronunciation is not that great. And sometimes I don't understand native speakers when they're all, do you know what, native speakers talking together. No, I can't, I can't, I can't I'm not doing it. I won't understand. And by doing that, this person has kind of really limited their opportunities, they've limited their network, they've limited themselves because they have this thinking that I'll fail 
if I do this? So the question, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? You know, apply it to your English, think about it. What would you do in English if you knew you could not fail? Would you write a story? Would you write a book? Would you do a podcast? Would you take an exam? Would you get a better job? What would you do with English if you knew you could not fail? Now, I'm not saying that failure won't happen because failure does happen. Failure is a part of life and we need to deal with that because we all fail all the time. But it's when we are afraid of failing and we allow that fear to stop us, that is when it's a problem. Failure in itself is just life. Not taking action because of a fear of failure is a way of limiting ourselves and our options, our success and our happiness. So what would you do if you knew you could not fail? And how maybe then are you limiting yourself by thinking you might fail. My name's Sarah, I'm an English teacher and language anxiety coach. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it's been useful.